Hey guys, Dr. Belt here again, and in this video, we're going to briefly explain how the subconscious mind determines all of our behavior for the future and what we create and the three key aspects of training our subconscious mind. So our subconscious mind is determining 95% of the way we think, decide, and behave right now. Now it develops in childhood and it downloads anything that you see and what is familiar, what's the most familiar in numbers and our emotion, the emotion attached to the thought or experience gets embedded in our body and that's the foundation of what we run on the program for the rest of our life. So it's reinforced later in life. So if we suffer things in the past of fear, rejection, loss, failure, those types of things, then we're going to keep those things with us the rest of our life and we'll never be able to achieve the things to our full potential. So we carry those patterns with us all of our life and it does not know right or wrong. It doesn't know what's best for your mind and body. It just knows what is familiar and that controls 95% of who you are. And a negative subconscious mind will then inhibit a conscious mind. Your conscious mind is 5% of who you are. That's your creative mind, your, your imaginative mind, one of free thinking and awareness, but it's inhibited by doubt, worry, and fear in negative subconscious mind. So that is why we need to retrain our subconscious mind from negative to positive. And the way that you change behavior is three different components. Your subconscious mind, culture, and confidence. You notice that conscious mind is not there in change in behavior. Your conscious way of learning is if you read like a self-help book or you know watch a tv show or a youtube video and said oh that's the way to do something but it doesn't stick for life your subconscious mind is one of training and programming like an athlete if they want to learn to be able to run the mile in less than four minutes they're going to practice every day twice a day for six months that's your subconscious mind training but fortunately you don't need to have six months to retrain your subconscious mind it can be done in days and so I want to show you ways in three components of how to retrain your subconscious mind so it is positive and doesn't inhibit your creative mind. And that way, you can, it doesn't matter what program or what you're copying off somebody, you'll be able to create your own program to solve the problem because you won't be inhibited. You don't need to buy other stuff. What you need first is to use this right here. You have all the math, the chemistry, the physics, everything you need to learn how to create your life and your business and your relationships and your health right here so the three components are repetition hypnotic state and emotion you see we learn our subconscious mind in a hypnotic state that's how we live the first seven years of our life we're just downloading things in, in a brain wave called theta that's a hypnotic state that's what we are in early childhood and you are in two places in your life in your day in those same wavelength of brain waves and that's right when you wake up and right before you go to sleep and you can induce a hypnotic state throughout the day through meditation and i'm not talking about something mystical or anything like that it's very scientific and it's a way to calm your five senses to bring them under your control to get you into suggestible mind state that you can reprogram your subconscious mind the second way is in familiarity, repetition. So what is familiar to you in the emotion tied to it becomes embedded in what you're familiar with controls your subconscious mind. So if there's anything negative and you revisit it in your mind over and over again, then you're going to have a negative thought pattern and in the future you're going to fear failure and rejection. You see there's opportunities right in front of us and it doesn't depend on the program but we never take it to, to its full potential because we worry what other people are going to think. We, th we fear failure. We fear rejection. So we never take it to its full potential. We're always guarding against failure and pain. So there is a way to do it with familiarity and repetition that your mind doesn't need motivation. It doesn't fear failure. It doesn't fear rejection. It just does it once it's programmed in the right way. And the third component of reprogramming your subconscious mind is emotion. Now, emotion is just a ratio of chemicals and neurotransmitters. Happiness is a certain um, ratio. Anger is a certain ratio. Doubt is a certain ratio. And usually we're at the expense of our experiences that cause the emotion. And our emotion is a result of the experience. The key to retraining your subconscious mind is to 
create the emotion, that chemical recipe and ratio before the experience and then embed that in your body, become familiar with it, and then you will seek out the experience that's consistent with that emotion. Now, there's a system to do this that's efficient, easy, and lasting. And so I've developed this system for myself to become well, but what I've found is that it's reproducible and it's easy. And so I developed a system that uses a mind-body connection. There's a scientific study for each step that increases the neurotransmitters, and I use math and science to do it. Each step is named after a letter of the alphabet. So it's very easy to remember, it's very easy to reproduce, and it doesn't take long at all to see the positive changes. And once you reprogram your subconscious mind, then you don't need motivation to do anything. It's just embedded and you unconsciously do it 95% of the time. And if it's positive, it doesn't inhibit that creative conscious mind. So that 5% can go to 8%. And then you've almost doubled your brain power. Take it to 10% and you've doubled your creativity. Then you can create the business and life that you want. You create the program. You're not going to get wealthy over copying somebody else's program and failing. You're going to get wealthy and have passion in life if you create your own program, create your own life. And that's what I've found. And I'm sharing it with others. So if you're interested, please click the link down below. It'll change your life. It'll create the life that you want. Remember, you have everything you need right here to do that. And join many, many others who have done the same thing. And transform, create the life that you want. Thanks. Talk to you soon.